Hello beautiful people, it's your girl Amije here and in this video today, I'll be sharing with you 30 business ideas you can start with 50,000 Naira in Nigeria so sit back and relax Growing up in Nigeria, we always, we always thought that business was meant to be left for certain kind of persons that they are the only ones that are good in such a, you know, such aspect of life. But thank God for the era which we have now. We've all known, we've all seen that anybody and everybody can do business to, so long as it is what you want to do or you have the, the passion for it. So number one on my list today is drink business. This is one of the business that you don't need to go to Harvard for, you don't need to go to school for, you don't even need to learn how to do it. So once you have your 50,000 Naira, it could be Zobo, it could be soft drink, it could be parfait. People ever are beginning to embrace parfait, I myself am beginning to love it. that when, when you sell and you are very strategic about jewel and you will do very well in it. Second on my list today is plantain chips business. Guys, this one, yeah, for instance, let's say for those for those that stay in Lagos here, you can go to my Swerf or Oyimbo market and source for your plantain. Meanwhile, you can, you can get the sealing machine that you use from Balogu or from Jumia. Even the nylon, you can get it from Balogu market at a very uh, low cost. Then if you're not in Nigeria, for those that are outside, uh, sorry, for, for those that are outside Lagos, you can you can search for the market that sells uh, plantain plantain at the very affordable price in your area and get and get materials from them. So third on my list today is fashion business. Like this business is one business that is easy for everybody to do and it's always easy go to for most people. You can when I mean fashion business can you can source for already made items from the market. Everybody in Lagos know that Balugu market is the market you go for you get things as cheap as two thousand naira even 3,000, 4,000, depending on the on the on the price mark you want to put for your business. And when you go, you go for, you go to the market and source for this stuff, you come and sell them at any price you want. So with your 50,000 naira, you can go to market, be it jewelry, be it um clothes, be it shoes, be it bags, like anything. You, it all depends on, on, on the niche you want to settle for in fashion, in fashion niche. So you decide the one you want to go for and go for it and Guys, with 50,000 naira, you will get a whole lot from Balogu Market if you are very strategic. And I think I will need to do a video. I will need to do a video that covers that that has um that has um places places where you can get each item from the Balogu Market and uh, some contacts that you can you can even get. Like I will forward it to you, and if, once you contact those guys, they will send you pictures. For those that want to do drop ship, drop shipping in fashion business, you don't even need to have money. You can start drop shipping before while I waiting for the money to come. Everybody already know what drop shipping. If you don't know what drop shipping is, you check. I check my previous videos. I've done a video around or how to how to start drop shipping in Nigeria. But on the list today is phone accessory. Like everybody and everyone is using phone. We are either buying phone casing, we are either buying charger, we are either buying earpiece. In fact, there is always something to buy so long as you are using for some business that you can start with 50,000 and you'll be able to buy a tangible amount of uh, 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 accessories to start your business with. You can either go go to Balogu market or any market in your in your in your, your locality that, that will afford you to buy them in wholesale. Or you can even buy yourself directly from AliExpress. When you shop from AliExpress, you don't need you don't need any middle man not like when you shop from Ali Alibaba. And when you shop from AliExpress, guys, you will see stuff below one dollar. Fifth on my list today is fashion designing and tailoring accessories. Okay, this is like this is like two in one. So it's either you are selling uh, fashion or uh, tailoring accessories. You all know that people are beginning to embrace the, the African style. So people are always making one dress or the other. So you could just position yourself to be the one supplying tailors with the accessories they need. I know so many tailors that don't don't stock accessories. They usually buy accessories as customers come. So you could be the one supplying these tailors the accessories, or with the all depends on how you go about it and phone access is one business that I can assure you that everybody is always in need of so long as they are all using for the fashion designing you need to have learned the skill so as you've learned the skill instead of waiting you can just decide to use your 50,000 naira and start off something even if you don't have the machine you could just find a way out and guys there are guys at Yapa that all you need to do is to give them material and they will sew for you. So let's say with this your 50,000 naira, you can buy materials for your customers. Can be buy you can buy materials, source for materials, sew for people and sell. Sell for them. You don't need to have machines in your house. 
this one on my list today guys is home cooking and delivery services like like i said in my previous videos this one you just need to go to markets get your food stuff like food is one big one one thing that everybody needs and being the way the world is going like people are so busy that they don't have time enough to cook the kind of food they want to be eating in their, in their houses so people like that you can render your services to them most of them are they are coming to you they are coming with their money already so you don't, you don't even have to use your 50,000 naira to save but in some cases you may need to, you may, you may need to use your 50,000 naira to set up to a large estate second one on the list today is small trust business like guys this one there i don't even need to dwell too much on it there is party going on every other day like people even Aside the party, people are always in need of small chops, even in their homes. So all you need to do, just get your part, like make your packages to be very, very well. It's one of the things that will sell you. Number eight on our list today is online coaching. Guys, like it's high time we started digitalizing our knowledge. I've, there's something I've learned recently. I've stopped commonalizing the knowledge that I know. In as much as it's easy for some persons to know, it's not easy for others to know. There are people out there that are in need of your knowledge. This one, you don't really need so much for it because all you need is just your data, your phone, or your laptop, and you know, find a way. Just go online and you find the best the best platform that you need to sell your knowledge. And most of you don't need the Western way to sell your knowledge. There are many free online platforms that you can you can just hop on and sell your knowledge. This is people are making huge money from packaging their knowledge, so you go out there and be part of those. So now will be a very good time for you to subscribe. If you are yet to subscribe, hit the notification button. Give me a thumbs up if if this video is interesting. So let's continue. The ninth one on my list today is thrift clothing, like what we popularly call okrika or bed dance select. Everybody in this Nigeria, let me not say everybody, 80% of it, of all Nigerians have once worn okrika or bed dance select. So, and I love how people are packaging it these days, they're taking it online. Like, you go online, you see the way people are packaging okrika. Okay, can I, you and I know that we used to move down on okay, can I, it's no longer thing of the past. They've rebranded okay, can I, okay, can I, it's now becoming the in things with 50,000 naira. There's you can get so much. So, and what they need to position and choose a particular uh, niche of okay, can that you or thrift that you that you emphasize. So, the tenth one on my list today, guys, is fruit business. We all know that everybody wants to keep fit now. Fit farm people that are everywhere that are looking for fruit and fruit is, is not something that is common to everybody. So find a way, go to uh, go to my church for those in Lagos and if you're not in Lagos, find a, a market that's, that offer fruit in wholesale prices. Get them, package them. Like you, there's so many ways you can pa package fruit and sell. So go online, look for a way to, to carve a niche for yourself in selling fruit business. The eleventh one on my list today is bed sheets production. This is one business that's beginning to thrive very well in Nigeria. Like you can for those in Lagos, sorry I'm always emphasizing Lagos because that this is why I reside in Lagos so it's easy for me to know the various market for the chance to go and sort this stuff out. So for those in Lagos you can go to Oshodi market, you can go to Island Market, so so good fabrics, get yourself a tailor. You don't need to be the one tailoring this stuff. Get yourself a good tailor that you can just go to and make this um in fact this is uh, at Oshodi and Island there are people that are specific, that's what they do. You just come, give them the specific that you want. They'll make them in any amount of, any quantity you want for. And you just go home with your, with your best friend. And you just repackage them the way you want. And business is set. And boom, you are good to go. Swift one on my list today is jewelry. Jewelry business. Buy us. See, there are some jewelries that you can buy as low as 100 Naira, 500 Naira. Yes, like it will amaze you the kind of good stuff you get for as low as, as that amount. You can get stuff like that, search for them, go to Lagos Island, go to Oshodi, go to other markets, like all those popular markets, go to the monitor market, you can get these things for low for low quantity and go and resell them, you can even repackage them. So there are some persons that sell pa uh, jewelry packages, you can buy from them and just brand your name on itself. Yes, you can actually do that, then resell them. The, the 13 on the list today is um, egg supply. This is one business that is very, very underrated, and we all know that every home these days make use of egg. So just find it, it puts you where you, you that you get ready supply of eggs so that you always have eggs to supply. And look out for people that are always in need of eggs. You can even go to Ketras because there are parties going on every every other day. You go to Ketras so that you tell them you'll be supplying for them. And guys, you are in business. 
So 14 on my list today is boxes supply or boxes production business. This is one business that is beginning beginning to thrive in Nigeria and it's one business that you should learn to maximize it because people doing businesses these days are, are beginning to package their, their product or their items in boxes and especially when it comes when it's during festive uh, period like myself I know that there, there are some of my customers that usually request that I package gift that item gift items that I get for their customers. So in instances like this you won't be my boss. The 15th one on my list today is shared production business. So guys this business is one business that that people really don't look into and it's one thing that Nigerians are beginning to embrace tell us making that shirts for them even corporate or corporate uh, people so you is you can just go source for materials you don't need to be the one tailoring these things yourself meet Jabba tellers or Abba tellers or Nisha people like they will tell you any style you want the way you want they will make it come to come alive for you so you, all you have to do is just to repackage them go out there and source for your 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 customers can even go to banks or corporate offices and you know uh, sell your market to them. Sitting on my list is cake and confectionaries. This is one business that, of course, many people already eat it, but if you have the zeal or the passion for it, you can just carve a niche for yourself, just stand out and voila, you are in business. Bake cupcakes, donuts, and sell to schools, and or even um, people, or, or have people that will sell for you on the roadside. Number 17 on my list today is popcorn business. This one I'm very excited about. This one you can even sell on the street and you don't need so much. You can go to Oyimbo Market, you can go to my 12, you can go to Island Market and source for yourself. And for those outside Lagos, you can source for your materials from markets around your area. Because popcorn business is one business that everybody's always chewing popcorn. So it's one thing I know that when you start, you will not lack customers. So guys, before we move on, I just need to mention one important stuff. The idea of this, the idea of all this is for you to start up small. Then later you can then upscale. You don't have to wait till you start big. People all see everybody, all the big business persons you know today, they started from somewhere. So you start from somewhere, no matter how small it is. The, the, the main fact is that you are starting. Just start small, then later you can then upscale to as, as, as large as you want. The next on my list is slippers and bags business. There is one business that like I said before, start small. You can go to island markets, you can go to Aba on the market. There are some sleep passes that you can get as low as 800 Naira. Yes, even some bags that go as low as 2,000 Naira. Oh, the idea is just for you to just start small, then you can now upscale. Even if it's not, you don't, that is not your ideal market, but you can just start somewhere. And instead of just waiting till you get your, you hit that big capital, start somewhere. 19th on my list today is printing business. This is something I'm very passionate about. This is one business that I'm passionate about because I'm, I also double into it a bit. Though mine, my niche is print or customized t-shirt. But there are different aspects of printing. You can, you can decide to uh, print cards for people, invitation cards, wedding cards, like, so many different things and you don't have to own the, the equipment yourself all you need to just source for your customers go to shomolu go to go to shomolu go to mushi and then find your way out then for people outside lagos you can just look for the biggest market that that, that handle printing in your area just get the get the contract then go there and sort start for your customers but 20 on my list today is female underwear or the laundry guys this one Girls, this is everybody wants to, you know, want to look good even when they're inside. So this is one business that you can just go. You select the the unusual underwear that guests see. Like it, there's this there's this thing about when you see on the unusual underwear that like it just calls to you. You see them, like you just fall in love with them. So look out for stuff like that. Look out for stuff like that. Don't buy the usual one. Stand out. And particular about you selling to the right person, because that is key in business. Find your niche or find who your customers are and look for where they are and go to them and trust me when you find your customers the sky can only be your limit in fact the sky will be your starting 21 on the list today is bidding and stoning one business that the demand is increasing by the day like people people no longer just settle for the for the regular clothing they want their clothing to come out with elegance and different styles so and this is something that most tellers this is actually with bidding or stoning and i know some tellers that don't actually do them themselves they, they give it to separate people that will do that all you need for is just stoning machines then you can even learn how to do bidding on your own and you don't even need so much for this business actually the stony machine once you get your stony machine once somebody customer is coming the person's coming paid you are the person will pay you the person is paying you so you are even use the person want to buy stones or you can just buy the stones and in stock and just buy them and keep and as they come you just stone just stone and give them and 
you are good to go. Next on our list, which is the 22nd on our list today, is drive for more business. This is one business that is still upcoming that so many persons don't know about, but you can you can make use of this opportunity, guys. And this one, like this, yeah. So you can just go to Oyibo Market, go to uh, Sabo for those in the Kurudu, you go to Surre, you go to Masha Kilo, like so. Just find ways where those um, those uh, slaughterhouses they have. So you go there, you get those from more. And if it be that you don't have the time or the energy to to process or to dry the, the dry the pomo yourself, go to market. There are markets where they sell them. They sell like they sell them. They count them. They, they do them in count like one thousand naira. When you buy them in like that, you can now repackage yourself, brand your business way, and now repackage and now sell to people. And one one good thing about dry pomo is that you can even store them in your fridge as long as even a year, up to a year. So imagine when you when you have customers already know that ah, I can always get drag for more from this person. I don't need to trust myself. That is like you've you've carved a niche for yourself that way. And it's one business that I will encourage people to actually go into if you don't know what to do for now. Then next, the twenty third on my list today is dry fish business. This one just like just also just like the dry common dry fish business. If everyone these days are using dry fish, and all of us cannot be producing dry fish ourselves, so find um, a fish farm where you can always get a uh, fish from them. Dry dry them, or it, even if you okay, let's say now you don't have the time to dry them. There are people that already process, they already dry these fishes. Just go to them, buy them in wholesale quantity, repackage, repackage, and sell. Like, life is easy. Branding and customization is one business that is becoming so much in demand these days. People are no longer settling for wearing boring t-shirts or wearing, even down to mugs. People want their mugs to be customized. So all you need to do is just to, to select a niche you're going to stick to and you're good to go. And this one, this particular one, you don't even need so much for it. Like, this is this is my this is my niche actually. I, act, I also run t-shirts. So I know what I'm talking about. I don't own any any machines at home, but I sell t-shirts to people. I brand for people, and yes, I don't own any machines, so you don't even need to have machines at home. All you need to do is find your customers, and once you get deals, go to Yaba, go to Shomolu, and you're good to go. Next on my list today is barbing and hair styling. As you can see now. In fact, every two weeks, I need to go to my barber and cut my hair. So this is also one business that, that is always in demand. Even the hairstyling. You don't even need to own a salon for this. This is people are now, now calling for their barbers to come home, come to the house and, and do home services for them. So you look out for people that you look out for people that are that are that are okay for home services. And trust me, you charge more when you go for home services, even before other than the salon. So look for people like that. Scale your barbing, like let it be that you are very good. I go to somebody's home, you are going to give them a top not a haircut you are going to somebody's house you're going to give them a top-notch style of hair so next on my list is um digital marketing like you see all these business ideas i've been mentioning all of them all of them they need you as a digital marketer so this is one business that is it's, it's high demand and it's the demand for it to continue to rise so if if you have the skill for even if you don't have and you're looking for something to do go and go and learn how to be a digital market uh, marketer this is one thing that you you are always in need for you and you'll be the one charging your customers the amount or nobody will give you a fixed amount so long as you know what you're doing this is something that in fact everybody if you don't if you're not doing something now now i will encourage you to go and learn because once you know it and you understand what you're doing trust me people will come for you you even get tired of customers hair accessories also one good business that you also need to look into all you need to just do like the hair bands the top band and the, the likes of it just go and get stuff like that and look for people and all get yourself a page on, on on social media and market your business then last but not the least is to reinvest this is also a business idea so all the money you've been getting look for a way to reinvest it there are so many investment opportunities lying out there so just find it but but i need to let you know that you need to have the knowledge before you invest i've been born so many times i've learned my lesson so before investing make sure you know what you're investing in you have a prior knowledge before you invest don't go by what somebody's telling you no no i will advise you learn and have the knowledge before you invest in any business that's on my list but not the least obvious obviously is recharge card business guys i don't even need to buy emphasize on this one everybody knows that we all need a recharge card everybody needs a recharge card even those that are not using smartphones they still need a recharge card so this is one business that with your 50,000 naira, you can get, you can start off, you can start off on a good, or even on a good sum. So, 
get out there, find yourself, create or carve out a niche for yourself and just learn all you need to all you need to know for that business. Don't just start off blindly, even though I've mentioned it, just still do your research and know the one that work for you or the one that work in your area. But in as much as I always talk about the area Put yourself out there on social media. Don't just limit yourself to to, to your area. Because even research card, people most people are these are selling research cards online. So everything is online now. So just find your way. Cap a niche out there for yourself online. So guys, hope that with all this now you you found this helpful. Please kindly subscribe if you're yet to subscribe. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up and leave a, and leave a comment. Do let me know the business idea that you're going with or the, the one that resonates with you. Thank you so much for sticking with me until I come every tomorrow. Bye.